All right, this is a short video for our USB oscilloscope precision test. Um, here we have the microcontroller reading a 5-volt peak-to-peak signal generated by our function generator. It's at 10 kilohertz, and here it is on a regular tectronics oscilloscope as well. Sorry for the glare. Um, here you see 10 kilohertz, roughly 5 volts, and pretty much centered, almost exact. So, here it is on our oscilloscope. Uh, I'm going to turn off triggering here so you can see this is actually a live capture. There, there it is. Uh, I'm just going to stop it there. And let's say we want to export a CSV. We'll name it uh, Test 1 CSV. Save that. And now, on this flash drive, here it is. We'll look at, real quick, we'll look at it in OpenOffice. Okay, import that. And there you have the CSV has been generated, which goes from roughly, goes up to about 2.5 volts, almost exactly. And down to negative 2.5, 2.52. Okay. So we'll do a THD on that signal. Here we are. You want me to talk about it? Yeah. So we wrote a script in MATLAB that'll calculate the THD of a signal that has been sampled using the DTFT or F FFT in, uh, in MATLAB. Test one, is that what you called it? Mm -hmm. So we'll just put that over here. And import data. Okay. Now we have to just extract the data that we want because this is in three columns and we only want the first column. Now uh, we have all the data contained in this data2 variable. And now I'm going to run it through my THD script, which will tell us what the total harmonic distortion is at the fundamental frequency, which is 10,000 uh, hertz right now. And this script will be posted online. In fact, it already is posted online, but you can go look at it again if you want to know how it works. I've commented it pretty well. We'll use, let's say, the first 10 harmonics here. Calculate THD. And we get, in, total, in terms of total percentage, less than a percent total harmonic distortion, 0.8969%, and that is a percentage. And it tells us that our fundamental frequency is 10,000, which it, it measured. That was not something that I gave it. So we can go, we can increase the harmonics just to show that we're not fudging it here. There's 20 harmonics, almost the exact same value, just two thousandths of a percent higher. So we are well within the total harmonic distortion that we should be, which we relatively expected. Um, I don't know if there's anything else you guys want me to show for that. That's it. And that concludes this test.